So there are two types of people that you might come across uh, when it comes to the PMP eligibility criteria. The first kind would ask you a question like, hey, what's the eligibility criteria for PMP? Just so that, you know, they can gauge and understand if they are uh, eligible for the PMP exam. The second type of people is who this video is for, by the way, would ask you a question like, why do I need three years of project management experience just to be eligible to write the PMP exam, just to be able to fill out that application form and uh, be eligible to write the PMP exam? Why do I need that much experience? If I have that experience already in project management, why would I care and take the PMP certification, right? So why you should take the PMP certification? What is it that a PMP certified project manager brings to the table? I've already made a video on it. I'll share the link in the description below. So check that out. Uh, but yeah, the question is, why do you need this much experience to be able to write the PMP exam? Three years to be precise uh, in project management to be able to write the PMP exam. So uh, there's one thing that I read somewhere and I really like it. It says a certification, a good certification is an evidence that you can do a job, right? So uh, if you have a good certification like PMP, which is globally recognized, right, by PMI. If you have a certification like that, it is an evidence. You know what you're talking about. You know uh, the, uh, the industry of project management, right? But a good certification is not a ticket to get a job, right? So I'll repeat that. A good certification is an evidence that you can do a job. It is not a ticket to get one. So, if you're someone who's fresh out of college, if you're someone who's who hasn't worked in project management industry as such and want to get in, so you are looking to get yourself a PMB certification so that you can get in, you are treating that certification as a ticket to get a job, right? A good certification is never a ticket. It is only an evidence that you can do your job, right? And that is why to everyone who comes to me and asks a question, should I, I I'm looking for a job in project management, should I get myself a PMP? No, you should not. You should get yourself some experience in project management. If you like that field, if you, if you have what it takes to be a project manager, gain certain experience, gain three years of experience in project management, and then go for the PMP certification. Otherwise, it won't really make sense for you to have a PMP certification and uh, then land a project management job and six months down the line feel like this job is not for you, right? So that's one of the reasons why a certification, right, uh, like PMP wants you to have certain amount of experience before you, you, you know, you are even eligible for the PMP exam. Now, other thing is that while most certifications out there, I'm not naming any or I'm not saying all the certifications out there, but most of the certifications out there in the industry, the professional certifications, they can be termed as a test of memory, right? So they test your memory. You have read something. How well have you learned it, right? How well you have memorized the concepts in it, memorized the definitions, memorized the formula in it. If you have good in memory, you know, and you have learned uh, a lot of things that have been taught to you as part of that certification study. If you have studied and if you have memorized it, you will be able to clear that certification, right? PMP is different. PMP is different in the sense that it is not a test of your memory. PMP does not test you on definitions or formulas, right? It tests you on the concepts. It gives you certain scenarios wherein if you have been there and if you have done that, if you are a project manager in real life and you have read what is the PMI's way to manage projects and manage situations, then and only then will you be able to answer certain questions, right? So it is important for you to be a real life project manager, to have handled certain situations, to be able to go in, read those questions, 
understand those questions, understand the scenario that the question is talking about and then be able to answer those questions, right? So that is one of the reasons why, uh, you know, PMI wants you to have certain experience in project management before you're, you know, even eligible to, to write the PMP exam. You should have been there, been, you should have done that. The questions in the PMP exam, right? They won't ask you a formula for certain thing or they won't ask you a definition of a certain concept. They will give you a five line uh, description of what is happening in your project and will ask you, what would you do in this situation? Unless you have really been in that situation or you understand what you should do in that situation from PMI's perspective, from PMBOK's perspective, only then you'll be able to, you know, answer those that, questions. Uh, a lot of people tend to think that they need a PMP certification to be able to manage projects, right? Which is far from truth. Uh, you can manage projects without PMP certification. You can be a project manager without PMP certification. You can land yourself a job in the project management industry without the PMP certification. Like I said, PMP or any other good certification is only an evidence that you can do a job, right? It is not your ticket to land a job. It is only an evidence. So in your resume, if it says you're PMP certified, it is an evidence that you can, you know about project management, you can manage projects, right? It is an evidence. If your resume doesn't have PMP certification, you need other uh, evidences, right? That you can manage projects. What could be those other, uh, you know, evidences? It could be your experiences. It could be, you know, uh, in your interview, telling the interviewer how you've managed certain situations, right? So there are other evidences that you can show in your resume, in your interview to be, you know, to prove that you can manage projects. PMP is just another evidence that you, you can, can be add. a project manager without PMP. So manage your projects without PMP, gain the experience, gain the knowledge, be there, do that, and then go and write the PMP exam and get yourself the uh, value certified. value that you would get, right? The value that you would get out of the PMP certification you will be able to extract the maximum value out of a PMP certification if you have certain experience already in project management, right? So let's talk about procurement management, okay? Uh, in one of my previous jobs, I was responsible to do procurement management. I had no idea how to do it. And uh, I was pretty bad at it and uh, yeah, I, finally somehow managed, I got certain trainings within the organization and I did some procurements, right? Got, you know, done away with it. Then I started studying for PMP. Then I started to understand what procurement management is. Then I started to understand what PMBOK's perspective is to procurement management. What are the things, what are the steps you should follow? What are the documents you should create? What is the process of procurement? have that kind of understanding of procurement management, I had to read and go through PMBOK, go through my PMP certification, understand what PMI's and PMBOK's perspective is about procurement management and finally be able to, you know, improve my procurement management skills. So like I said, you can be a project manager without the PMP certification, right? Get that knowledge, do those things that project managers do, then come read the PMBOK guide, read the PMP material, you'll be able to understand how you can do things uh, in, in the PMBOK's perspective, how you can do things in a better way, how globally things are done in project management, how globally projects are managed. And once you know that, you know, you'll be able to, to, you'll be able to have grab and extract maximum value out of your PMP certification. And that is the aim of PMP certification, right? To have the maximum value of project management out of that certification. So those are just a few things that I believe in, I think of when somebody would ask me a question, why exactly do you need uh, an X, X years of experience in project management before being eligible to write a PMP exam? Channel if you haven't done so already, that's all I had basically. So subscribe to this YouTube channel if you haven't done so already, check us out on our social media and uh, send your queries. If you have any such queries, send them to pmblounge at gmail.com. 
And don't forget to check out the website pmbalance.com, your number one free resource for project management certifications and project management industry information. Thank you.